Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. If you are new here, I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. If you are already subscribed, welcome back. So in today's video, I am going to be doing my current full face foundation routine. So I will do everything from foundation to setting powder to blush, all that good stuff. What I currently do, what my current favorite products are, and the techniques or routine in the way I do them. All right, before we get started, just make sure you hit that subscribe button at the bottom of this video, the bell next to it, so you are instantly notified when I upload. And without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, guys, so obviously you can tell that I only have all of my eye work done except for my lower lash line, which I do after my foundation. And I have like my brows done, which is everything I do before my foundation. Um, the only time I will ever do my eyes after my foundation is if I'm in like a super hurry or I'm not really doing like a full full coverage I'm doing more of like a light coverage and I'll just put it on real quick draw a little bit of eyebrows on not like full blown and then some nude shadow or like a pink or something real light other than that if I'm going like complete full coverage doing it up I will always do my eye makeup first except for the under eye my brows and then move from there all right so I wanted to kind of get show you guys like the tools that I use or the my favorite face products now I have a ton if you have not seen my makeup collection I did just do a video I'll link it up here um, but I have a ton 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 of like face products and makeup so for me it's always changing because I want to use those things um, I review a lot of things for you guys but if I am in a hurry or I'm just going somewhere and I really don't have time to like, oh, let me try this, let me try that, let me put these things together, then I will go to these things. So these are my number one, grab it, go. If I'm going on, a, if I'm traveling like to, for vacation or something, then these are the main things that I'm gonna pack because I know that they work. I know that they work in pretty much every atmosphere. Um, any climate so I don't have any issues whether it's cold or it's hot it's humid or rainy so these are my go-to items that I will use like if I was a normal human and only had one set of like face stuff this would be it so we're gonna get started all right so the first thing that I go into after my found after my moisturizer is primer I do have quite a few primers but when my skin is pretty dry I like a hydrating primer. I have the Becca one that I really like and a Tarte one that I really like, but this is ever ever since I bought it, I think it was like ooh, beginning of the year, maybe. Um, this has been my go-to. This is the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. I'm sure you guys have seen it all over the place. I'm really just into it. It's such a pretty color too. So I'm just like really into it. It doesn't make a big mess. It's like tacky which is what I really like when I'm doing a full coverage look I want it to stick so you want that tacky feeling so if I put on a primer and it's not really tacky I like the um, Tatcha one but it to me it doesn't get tacky so I don't feel like it holds my makeup the way that this one does so I'm really really into this one right now so I just put like a pump so I just put some on my fingers and I have my mirror down here by the way and I just spread it I focus mainly on my t-zone but I will also spread it through other areas just to kind of disperse it and I have to be very careful because even though I use a brow gel sometimes if I'm rubbing I can rub my brow off and that's not a good look for anybody so all right and if you look like look how glowy that made me like it just makes my skin look and feel hydrated so when I'm piling all that other stuff on it's not like because that's what happens if you wear makeup all day your face will get tight and you can start to feel it but this kind of like helps it not from doing that if you start with a really good base which is what I recommend then you're already winning all right so I kind of just let it sit there for a minute just so it can kind of soak in all that good stuff and the foundation I'm going to be using which is the one that I grab for the most part all the time unless I'm doing a video or something that I you know knew that I want to try that came out but this is my go-to favorite foundation and it is by Milk Makeup as well and this is their Blur Liquid. So this is in the shade it doesn't tell me oh here it is Golden Sand so if that helps you with I guess what my skin color is and this is a matte foundation, but what I'm telling you is you gotta shake this one. It doesn't 
feel like a matte foundation, if that makes any sense. All right, so I have two different ways that I put my foundation on. It will either be with a, three different ways actually, a brush, a beauty blender, or both. Usually I like to go on both, so what I will do this time is I'm gonna use the Morphe M5439, and I will buff it in, and then I will go back through and just smooth it over with the beauty blender. It's one of my favorite ways to do it. It just makes sure it's in there, like this makes sure it gets in there, coverage, all that, and then the beauty blender just makes sure that it like smooths and looks flawless for a finish. I don't have a clip with me today, so just bear with me. My hair is gonna be like flop, 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 flop. I love this foundation. It feels so nice too. And it's so just, ugh. for being matte, like it's not that dry down, cakey, crusty matte. It gives such a beautiful finish on your skin. Like I said, just a quick over, I make sure I get my ears and get my neck. I prefer the brush for my neck too, by the way, just because I feel like it's easier to do your neck with the brush because you're just covering a bigger area. And I know it looks really sloppy right now, I promise I'm fixing it. And then I go in with the Beauty Blender without anything on it and I get where the brush really couldn't go and I like up my nose because you have to be careful when you have your makeup on or your eye makeup on already because if you're not careful, you can mess it up really bad. All right, so if you could tell, like it is a matte foundation, but literally look at the glow. It gives me such a beautiful dewy glow that I'm just like, there's no way you're a matte foundation. Um, and it does come up pretty full coverage. I do have a beauty mark right here and you can't really tell that it's there. You can build it up even more, but if it covers, I don't have like a lot of like blemishes. I kind of wear foundation just to one tone my whole skin. Um, but if you do have some blemishes or spots that maybe didn't get covered by it, then just go through. This is very buildable. So the next thing I go into is my concealer. And my favorite go-to concealer is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. And this is in the shade Medium 26. So I really like the texture of this. Um, it's fairly cheap. I think this was like $7. Maybe less. It is such a good coverage. Um, it's easy to blend. It's easy to build up depending on how much you're looking for. And it has a large shade range. So, and I like the flat tip brush that it comes with. So I could just literally swipe it, swipe, swipe, swipe. And I just go in here and I go, just like that, nothing crazy. And then it'll give me my full coverage that I'm looking for. And then obviously up the nose and your forehead and the chin. I don't go too crazy with my concealer just because I don't find it necessary. Um, I don't like it too white under my eyes. If you're trying to go like boom, bright in your face, then yeah, I have concealers too that are much lighter than my actual skin tone that will help me with that. But so what I do is I take it all the way up to my waterline and just to the temples. I will go very carefully by my eyeshadow just because I don't want to mess it up. All right, so the next product I'm gonna go into, I have a super ton of setting powders, but again, this is Milk Makeup Blur and Set. This is not a sponsored video by Milk Makeup. I'm just really a big fan of their skin or like face makeup. Um, and this is their setting powder and I love it. So it comes with a little lid and then, that's the only thing I don't like is like it pops up. And it has like a little sifter. It's like a little cloth sifter. If you could see it, it's white, so probably not. So what I do, because I can't get it to come out ever, is I just still tap it into the lid. All right, I don't really bake either. I have extremely dry skin, so that does not work out for me baking. So I take a brush, and usually it's the Y3. Sometimes it'll be a smaller one. And I literally just go right in, and I just pat down everything I just placed down. And it just looks so smooth and just set and so pretty. You could definitely use this for like all over your face if you're a little lighter, but if you're um, kind of tan like I am, it might give you a little bit of a discoloration. So the next one I'm gonna go into is the Urban Decay Beach Bronzer. And this is in the shade Sun Kiss. And I'll go ahead and show that to you without blinding you. It's just a beautiful color. Um, again, I don't, if you're not new here, I'm not really big on contouring. So you won't really catch me doing that. I'm going to take an eyeshadow brush. Uh, it doesn't really matter which one. And that's how I do my nose for some bronzer. Because I do want to bronze up my nose. Um, I just don't care to contour, really. I just want to give myself a little bit of a bronze color. And then call it a day. Uh... If I'm going somewhere, I guess, like, super fancy, 
Maybe, probably not. And then I'm gonna take my brush and just... So, I like to use the Morphe 530, M530, and I just go in around the same areas you would if you were contouring, and I just like to bronze up around the face. I don't know, I just feel like there's a couple of makeup techniques that could go away and I wouldn't care. Contouring is one of them. Highlighting, not a chance. I'm a big fan. Um, contouring, definitely one of them. Winged liner, I just... I don't mind winged liner. I'm just not... I don't do it. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, if you guys are not new here, then you obviously see that I do not do winged liner. I just don't. I think it's played out. I think that it does not look good with every look. Um, it does not look good with every eye shape. So for me, it's just not, it's not my thing. If it is yours, then you know what? Do you think, girlfriend? But not for me. It doesn't work out for me. So the next item on the agenda, my hair is a mess, by the way, is my blush. And this is my go-to. I have tons of blushes. Kylie blushes, Cover FX blushes, the NARS blushes, all kinds of blushes. But Milani Baked Blush is literally my favorite and this is in luminoso and she has been loved so i go in usually with my real techniques brush because it's so big and it just covers like such a beautiful area and if you look here this is like a pink shimmery orange tinted like it has like corally colors it's just so beautiful and it's so inexpensive <sighs> and it's so inexpensive that it's just for me, it's my go-to. I know what it's gonna do to my skin. It doesn't give me a lot of texture. So I like to bring my blush up here to almost make it look like it's coming from my hairline. If you don't have this blush, you need this blush. It's my favorite. And I have tons of it. I have tons of blushes. This one's my favorite. All right, and so last but not least, I am going to be going in with a highlighter which is the Laura Geller, and this is Diamond Dust Highlighter. I absolutely love this highlighter. Um, yeah, little goes a long way, so just be careful not to go too crazy. And I go in again with a 510 brush, and I will just swirl it around, like look at that color. Woo, has like an oil slick rainbow to it. And I just, I put it, see, smile, and I put it here, and go up just a smidge. But I focus mainly on my cheekbones. Definitely, I'm 100% certain I got that technique from Jaclyn Hill. I don't remember. And then I'll put a little down here, nothing crazy. And then some on the nose because you have to get that nose. Oh, let's put a little bit more on the nose. And I like this one because it's easy to use. I can use it um, no matter what shade I am. So depending on if I'm really tan or I'm super light, I can still use this. And I just think it's so pretty. It's not overwhelming, but it's also stunning. So it's like that mix in between, so that's why it's my go-to. I have a ton that I love, but this is my go-to. So real quick, I'm gonna throw on my under eye, and I'll be right back. All right, so I went ahead and I just put a little of that brown that I use as a transition up here under my eye to open it up a little. And last, but seriously not least, because the highlighter was obviously not the last, my favorite setting spray is the Morphe setting spray, and let me explain to you guys why. This setting spray, I love that it is a mist. I don't mind other setting sprays that kind of just squirt like the Max Fix Plus. But this one, it just feels so much nicer when it's like spraying all over my face. I don't feel like I'm going like this. So I really like the misting. I don't care for the scent, but it's not that bad. Um, but I am a really big fan. This is my go-to and I will usually take this with me. Mm in my purse throughout the day because it, what I do find is that my makeup if it starts to settle or it starts to crack apart this I spray it on and I'm telling you I take a beauty blender and, and I am good to go my hair looks a mess guys I'm sorry once I'm done doing my um setting spray I will finish it up with my lipstick today I did this is the liquid matte by Huda Beauty and it is in the shade Sugar Mama Alright guys, so that is it for my current foundation routine. 
Um, my current, I guess, favorite foundation routine, my favorite products that I'm using right now. If you guys have any of these products, make sure you comment below and let me know which ones you have and if you like them, if you don't like them. Um, and as always, guys, just give this video a big thumbs up, show me all lots of love, and I will see you on the next one. Bye!